Home County gave Trump the victory back in 2016, partly because of COVID concerns, mail-in ballots, and over here, drop-off absentee ballots are setting records in some places. We right now have 16.8% of the registered voters in Macomb Township have already voted by absentee voting. In 2016, the total voter turnout was 11,598. Wow. And those that voted absentee was 7,134. A steady stream of voters delivering their absentee ballots so they don't get delayed in the mail. Detroit City Clerk Janice Winfrey is urging Detroiters to do the same after being told by the Postal Service the ballots may not arrive in time for the primary on Tuesday. And now this, President Trump tweeting this morning with mail-in voting, not absentee, 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. He suggests delay the election with question marks. So those are fear tactics. Those, in my opinion, that's a form of voter suppression and it's to be ignored. Well, I support Donald Trump 100% as a Republican. Um, I understand uh, his concerns, but being on the administrative part of the election, I know all the checks and balances that go in place that are required to ensure the sanctity and security of voting, whether it's in person or by mail. And I can assure the Macomb Township voters that it is secure. Governor Whitmer in a statement says mail-in absentee voting is simple, safe, and patriotic and says it's clear the president is more focused on his chances in the 2020 election than on protecting families from a virus that has killed more than 150,000 Americans. We're getting mixed reaction among Macomb County voters. There's no reason to stop it unless you think you're not going to be elected. There is fraud, but I don't know about that delay thing. It can't be postponed. And I, the fraud's unproven. Of course, any delay in the election would take an act of Congress, and even Republican leaders are saying today that's not going to happen. Alan and Glenda, on a related note, I looked it up. Trump has not run any TV ads since the end of June, but he is spending money in other states where it's a closer race, including Iowa. However, I also looked ahead. He is back on the TV schedule spending money in September and October, but this could be where he stands today right here in Michigan. Guys? Yeah, we'll see what happens in the weeks moving forward. All right, Jim, thank you for that live report.